Hello there, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of TA with McKay. My name is McKay, and in today's episode, we're going to hop over to the exchange known as KuCoin. That is the exchange that I currently use the most. And if you're watching this video within the first 24 hours, maybe even to the first few months that it launches, then you may have fallen victim to uh, the KuCoin FUD that's going around. So let me quickly just take you over to a couple of websites just to kind of show you that KuCoin is here to stay, at least in my opinion, and it's not going anywhere. And if you're hearing anything about it potentially going solvent or some of these other things that are floating around, it just simply isn't true. You got to remember that this is a very manipulated market and everybody has an agenda. But let me just quickly dive into that before we go on with what we're going to talk about in this video. All of these should be familiar sites if you've been in the space for very long, or at least the first two. This one is CoinMarket cap.com which is just a website commonly used to find all the information you can about a coin as it relates to the volume for the last 24 hours or what its market cap is or what its current price is or what the price has been over the last week or two and so on and they have a spot on their website that lists the exchanges and gives them an exchange score you put your mouse over and it tells you it's basing that off of the following web traffic factor average liquidity volume as well as the confidence that the volume reported by the exchange is legitimate and they have binance ranked number one with a 9.9 .9, but you don't have to go down very far to find KuCoin down here, ranked at number seven, ahead of things like Bitfinex, Gemini, uh, FTX US, the Crypto.com exchange, right? We go over here to the next one. This is CoinGecko.com, which is the one that I use the very most. And it has Binance ranked as a 10, as number one, but once again, down at number seven, so not very far down the list, is KuCoin, which they also give a 10 ranking ahead of things like Binance US, again, Crypto.com Exchange, Bitfinex, you know, Gemini, and so on. And then the last one, just another website called uh, CryptoRank.io, again, Binance number one, it is the largest exchange in the world and the most you know, most used with the largest liquidity. But again, you go down to number eight and sure enough, you find KuCoin listed right there ahead of things like Uniswap version three, Kraken and so on, even ahead of Bitfinex. So as you can see, KuCoin is doing just fine. Of course, like I said, in my opinion and in the opinion of these uh, creditable, is that the word creditable? We'll just say incredible crypto websites. Obviously, they are ranking it completely fine, and there's plenty of volume that comes in. So anyways, in today's video, we're actually going to discuss the 3L and 3S tokens, the leveraged tokens that they offer in their spot trading section. Now, I will leave a link in the description to a video that I put out recently about how to trade the regular leverage on the uh, future section. Today's video, we're going to discuss how you can you know, buy these leveraged tokens and how you can trade them. And we're going to discuss the pros and the cons between trading these 3S and 3L tokens versus just trading you know, regular leverage in the future section. And if that sounds interesting, do me a favor and please like and subscribe and let's go. Now, if you are brand new to using the KuCoin exchange and it's a little intimidating, just I guess getting started, I will leave a link in the description to a previous video that I made on just how to set up an account and how to navigate and purchase your first coin using this exchange. We're not gonna go over that in this video. We're gonna make the assumption that you either already know how to do that or you are you know, you pause the video and go watch that one first and then come back to this point. So we're on KuCoin.com. We're gonna go over to their regular trading area. So over here on the top left where it says trade, I'm gonna bring that drop down box up and I'm gonna go to the one that says spot trading. Let that load up. Oh crap, let me just quickly move my head out of the way. Now, would you look at that? My face is out of the way. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here to the top left where by default, it's showing the regular Bitcoin USDT pair. We're gonna click that and in the search box, we're gonna type BTC 3L. We're gonna start with the three long leverage token. Once that loads up, go ahead and click. And then I'm gonna quickly hide my face over here real fast. And we're going to navigate over to the charts in TradingView. The first thing I wanna go over is just the difference between how the charts look. Now, of course, if you're gonna be trading a coin, I would have assumed that you've got to chart it up and you're looking for support and resistance and how you're gonna enter your, you know, your long or your short in this case. And this is just the regular KuCoin chart. And it shows that Bitcoin right now is at around 22,550. You know, you can see if I click over here to the BTC 3L chart, price action looks the same, but it's over here saying 0 0.005477. Well, that's kind of confusing, right? Now, I'm not going to explain in this video how they come up with these numbers because I just simply don't know. But just know that price action will look the same or at least super, super similar, obviously, between the KuCoin regular chart and the KuCoin 3L chart. But for every percent that this goes up on this chart, or, you know, for example, let's just say we entered a trade right here where the current price is and rode it all the way to the top of the range over here, this most recent high, 
that's going to be roughly a seven and a half percent move well over here on the 3l chart that same move is going to be three times that in this case roughly you know 20 24 percent so in a nutshell and just a quick explanation because these are 3x tokens it means for every one percent that the coin moves in either direction that would equate to a three percent you know profit or loss for you depending on you know what coin you're trading so in this case if it was bitcoin and i put in a hundred dollars at a certain price for bitcoin and the price of bitcoin rose ten percent you know that would actually represent 30 percent on this token and i would make thirty dollars the reverse of that, if the token dropped by 10%, that would equate to a 30% loss for me. And now my 100 bucks went down $30 and I, you know, I have $70 left. And this is where probably the largest pro comes for trading these 3x tokens on KuCoin versus trading regular leverage in the future section is you cannot be liquidated. Now, if you haven't watched my other video on how to trade regular leverage and you don't understand what the word liquidation means, let me quickly, quickly explain it. I'm over here now on the regular futures trading area on, on KuCoin. And as you can see over here on the right, it offers up to 100x leverage, which is just completely and utterly insane. But let me just explain how you can quickly calculate what your liquidation price is going to be. Basically, what you do is whatever leverage number you choose. So in this case, let's just say I choose 5x leverage. I pull the slider up to 5. I'm going to take 100 and divide it by 5. Whatever that number is, which in this case that would be 20, that would be the percent that the coin needs to go the opposite way of the, you know, how whatever position you opened, long or short, for you to be liquidated. So if you were trying to long Bitcoin and you opened it, you put $100 into the position using 5x leverage. If the coin drops by 20% and you didn't put a stop loss or anything in place, that liquidates you. 10x leverage, 100 divided by 10 is 10. 10%, coin goes down 10%, you lose all your money. Now in the case of these 3S tokens, they're representing 3X leverage, right? It just means if you take 100 and divide it by three, that's gonna be 33.3333, right? So we'll just say roughly 34%. If the coin drops by 34%, whatever money you put into that position, assuming you had no stop loss, it gets liquidated and you lose it all. Now that brings us full circle back to the uh, before mentioned pro as far as trading these coins go, and that is that there is no liquidation. However, they are still meant to be traded short term. And this is the best explanation I can try to give is on KuCoin.com, I have a blog that mentions that right here it says, uh, is leverage token trading suitable for long-term or short-term trading? And, it, and this Lucas guy says, as we mentioned before, the system does what's called a rebalance of the positions every day. This process, there will be a net value wear and tear. It just means the longer you hold the position, that the value goes down over time. And that's obviously meant to protect them. That's the reason they don't have your position get liquidated. If you go to zero dollars or, you know, into the negative, even though you wouldn't have to pay the negative, you would just be at zero dollars. But if the coin dropped by 34%, which means your you know, money you put in would be at zero dollars, as long as it recovers in the short term, you're back above zero dollars. You don't get liquidated. You don't lose the whole hundred dollars just because it dropped 34%. But let's say it drops 50%, 60%. You're still at zero dollars. Over time, that position is going to get, you know, the net value of it's going to go down so much that even if the coin finally recovers back to your original, you know, entry, you're not, or even goes slightly above, you're not back in profits. You've actually been losing the value over that time. And I don't know exactly how quickly that value is lost, but just understand these are meant to be short-term trades, you know, usually a few hours at the most, maybe a day or two. To further expound on that example, let's just go over here to the regular price for Bitcoin. And let's just say, hey, what if Bitcoin were to drop? 30, you know, from this point of entry at 22,700, let's say Bitcoin dropped 35%, you know, ish. So we'll put it down here about 34.5%. That would be enough to liquidate you on a regular leverage trade, meaning let's say you put $100 in, you would be at $0 and you would never see that $100 again. Using these tokens, let's just say some crazy news came out where Biden said, hey, Bitcoin's now illegal and you're going to jail if you even are spotted thinking about buying or holding Bitcoin. Well, of course, Bitcoin's going to tank based on that news. And let's just say 15 minutes later, it comes out that it was actually not Biden that said that. It was a lookalike that dressed up like Biden and, you know, got on the news and, and threw that FUD out there. And then Bitcoin recovers all the way back to your entry point. Well, guess what? On a regular leverage trade, you would have lost your whole $100 because you hit your liquidation price. In the case of these KuCoin 3L tokens, you would just be back to your $100, break even, and still have the opportunity to make money if all of a sudden good news comes out where Biden actually steps out and says, never mind, I actually love Bitcoin. Uh, you know, I actually uh, 
named my first son after Bitcoin or something, you know, his name's Satoshi. So that was essentially one pro and one con, you know, mixed into one, the pro being no liquidation risk, the con being you can't hold on or you should not hold on to these positions long term or really even medium term. They're meant to be short term trades because let's just say Bitcoin goes into some fifth dimension, time continuum, I don't know the right term, Star Wars, just some weird thing happens in the world where Time continues on, but Bitcoin, you no know, time stands still or price stands still. It literally goes sideways and stays at 22,700 for one month. Well, your $100 will lose value with each passing day, even though Bitcoin's price where you entered didn't lose value. And we'll move on to what I would call con number two, as far as trading these coins on KuCoin. Up here in the search box, I typed in 3L and I brought up a list of all of the different 3L tokens that you can trade. Now the 3S is just the reverse and those same tokens will have the 3S as well. And there's around 30, I think it's just under 30, like 28 or 29 of these. Whereas on the regular futures leverage trading section, um, there's around 120. So you have four times as many coins or even a little bit more that you can trade on regular leverage versus what you can trade here on the uh, spot section with the 3X tokens. And the next thing that we're gonna go over is going to be a pro as well as simultaneously being a con at the same time. It's kind of the common theme with a lot of this. The pro being that let's just say you were doing your TA and you believed that the market or the coin that you're trading, which in this case might be Bitcoin, or I guess I have Ethereum up at the moment, is going to go down. Well, with regular spot trading, you don't have the ability to do that, right? You buy the coin and you hope it goes up to make money. If it goes down, you lose money. But what if you wanted to trade it to the downside? Well, this gives you that ability while still having the same function without liquidation risk as spot trading. As far as you can just buy it, it is just a coin. In this case, it'd be the ETH 3S coin. But the con being that it's 3X leverage which is higher risk, right? It means for every percent the coin goes, you know, up, you're going to be losing 3%. So if you bought, you know, if you entered at a certain price and all of a sudden Ethereum started going up, it might go up 10% and the next thing you know you're down 30%. Whereas on the regular KuCoin futures, which does have the risk of liquidation, you can go as low as 1x, which just means it's the same concept as holding a spot long position. Like you bought Bitcoin at a certain price, it goes up 10%. What do you normally make in that case? 10%. In this case, let's just say I wanted to bet on Bitcoin to go to the downside, I could use as low as 1x leverage enter my position, and now if Bitcoin drops by 10%, I make 10%. But if it suddenly pumps by 10%, I only lose 10%, whereas over here on these 3S tokens, I would lose 30%. So the pro is that you can short the market with these, it's a good introduction to being able to do so, but it kind of comes with a little bit higher risk in that regard that you can't use lower leverage. There's not 2S and 1S tokens. Now to wrap things up for this video, let's just quickly show you an example of buying one of these tokens. So let's go over here and type in BTC and we're going to wait, we're gonna type in 3L and we're gonna go with the Bitcoin 3L USDT pairing. And we're gonna hop back over here to the charts. And we're gonna look at this and go, okay, my TA might suggest that we had this high and most recently it looks like we're trying to put in a lower high. So in the short term that does look bearish, but hey, you know what, overall we are still above this major breakout level that happened around here, right? Previous resistance, previous resistance. This could just be a support bounce and eventually it's gonna go higher. So that same level over here on the 3L token, let's go ahead and put that down. It's gonna look just slightly different. That is kind of, you know, the issue, but that's kind of one of the cons, I guess, is the charts look very similar, but not exact, because you can see on this chart, I might think we've already lost support a couple of times, whereas really we haven't, if you look on the regular chart. But the key is I want to enter now at 22,700. I'm going to go back over here. I know that that's where we're at. So on this KuCoin 3L, I'm going to go over here up into the order book, and I'm just going to click one of these recent prices, and I'm going to type in that I want to get, you know, X amount of BTC 3L. I just type in a number till I see down here where it says how much I'm actually going to be paying. I don't know the quickest way to figure this out. Just try numbers until it fits how much you want to put in. Let's say I wanted to do $100 worth. Well, maybe I change this then to two at the front and put a bunch of zeros after it. Okay, I didn't, I'm a little too much. Let's do 18 instead of 20 with some zeros. Okay, that's really close to $100, 162. I'm gonna re-click up here in the order book to make sure I'm getting a recent price. Uh, I have previous videos where I, I give examples of this, but whenever I'm buying something, I like to use the sell order book. And whenever I'm selling something, I like to use the buy order book. I'm gonna click this bottom one. I'm gonna click buy BTC 3L. 
So you should have heard that fancy sound that, that my buy order went through. Um, however, if it had not gone through over here on the bottom left where it says open orders, it would show that still sitting there pending, waiting to be filled. Uh, where it has filled, I can go click over here under order history and it's gonna show at the top here that I most recently bought uh, BTC3L at this price and this amount of uh, BTC3L. Now we're gonna go over here to our chart to determine kind of where we wanna sell at. And the way that I'm gonna actually do this is I'm gonna first look at the regular chart and pick a, pick a target, right? Let's just say it's a really short-term trade, which is the point of these. I see this wick back up here, maybe out of fear a bit, or not fear per se, but just TA telling me that, hey, this did put in a lower high. Maybe it's gonna form some sort of like a little falling wedge at this point. Maybe the max that I think it'll go up is to that previous wick in the short term. So on price, let me take this percentage tool again, and from where we're at, that's going to roughly be about a 2.5% gain. Let me go see then 2.5 times 3 would be, let's see, 5, 7.5%-ish. I'm going to go over here to the 3L token. We're going to do from this current price of this, where does 7.5 put us? Right about there. Let me mark that off. And that's going to be 0 0.006040. Hopping back over to the exchange, I'm going to go down here on the bottom right where it says limit spot. I want to make sure that it's on limit. And then on the sell side over here, I'm going to type in that 0 0.006040. Just to confirm, let's hop back over here real fast. That is where I put that mark at, 0 0.006040. Hop back over to the exchange. We're gonna put the amount, I wanna sell it all. That's gonna make me basically $8.72 if I if it hits my upside target. I'm gonna go ahead and click sell BTC3L. Now under open orders, it's made that. And we're gonna go ahead and set a quick stop loss for this as well as that's important. So let me show you that example. Now we're back over to the regular Bitcoin chart and I've made a green horizontal line to indicate kind of where I entered the trade. And this red line is gonna represent for this um, example where I'd like to set a stop loss. Now here's how I'm gonna kind of calculate what that's gonna be for my entry for the for where the price is right now. That would represent about a 3.75%. 3.75%, if we take the calculator, bring it up real quick, right? We're gonna type 3.75, we're gonna times it by three because that's the leverage we're using. That's 11.25%. So then we're gonna go back over here to this chart, cancel that, go back over here to the BTC3L chart. And from the current price, 11.25% drop would bring the price down to roughly, we'll do a horizontal line here at 0.005401. Now we're back over here on the exchange and here's where things get a little tricky. So I'll go through this as quickly as possible. One of the uh, downfalls of the KuCoin exchange is it will not allow you to have a limit sell order, which is what we were on, a limit sell order, in this case for 0 0.00604 at the same time as a stop loss. If you put this limit sell order in, then over here when you go to stop limit and highlight that and you go to put in your stop limit price, it'll tell you you have no Bitcoin available because it's all tied up in this sell order. So what you have to do instead is use stop limit sells for your take profits as well. Let me show you. So take a mental note of this 0 0.00604, preferably write it down somewhere real quick, and we're gonna go ahead and hit cancel. And instead, we're gonna go over here to stop limit and we're gonna now type that in here. We're gonna go here where it says stop limit on the sell side, 0.00604. Now I need to quickly explain what the difference between stop and price is, and I'll do my best. Um, I have other videos where I go over this, but for this video, I'll just explain it very quickly. Now you could put this number as the exact same, but to avoid what's called slippage, you want to fluctuate this a little bit, and here's why. So basically in this case, there needs to be enough buy orders waiting at 0 0.00604 to you know execute or fill my sell order, right? For me to sell something, there needs to be someone on the other side waiting to buy it, you know, that amount at least, that amount at that price, right? Well, if there wasn't, there would be something called slippage where it may fill part of my order, but the rest may just get missed. And, you know, I'm still holding on to part of this coin that I meant to sell, and now I'm taking losses that I was trying to avoid by having a stop loss. Well, if you, if you put in a price a little bit lower here, what'll happen is it will trigger your sell order at 0 0.00604. And whatever you put as the price is the lowest price you're willing to sell it at. And it will fill your order if needed at prices starting at 0 0.00604 down to the price that you put in the lower one. So say I put 0 0.00601. 
it's going to use that area between 0 0.0604 and 601 to try to fill my order of 100% BTC in this case, which is 18,000 BTC 3L. Now I can hit sell BTC 3L. And now over here on the bottom left under advanced orders, it's going to put this sell, stop limit sell for the BTC 3L. Normally the other one was under open orders. A stop limit is considered an advanced order on KuCoin, so it put it over here. Now we have that in place. That's my take profit should have hit that. Now we want to go back over and put in the actual uh, stop loss. I just now confirmed that that's 0 0.005401. So I'm going to make sure over here on the bottom right, stop limit is still clicked. I'm going to type 0 0.005401. Again, down here on the lower one, I want to do a lower number, whatever I feel comfortable with. In this case, I'm going to do 0 0.005301. And I'm going to click 100%. It's going to show that should this execute this order, my $100 and some odd cents would only now be $95 and 41 cents. And I'm going to click sell BTC3L. Again, I can go over here under advanced orders on the left and make sure both the take profit sell order and the take profit or the stop loss sell order are both there. Now, this was for example purposes only. Losing $5 in this case wouldn't be the end of the world for me and I would still be able to uh, feed my wife and my two dogs and my two cats and everything will be okay. However, I do wanna quickly mention that risking $5 to make a potential of $8, which is what these are, is not a very good risk to reward ratio. And I will leave a link in the description to a video I recently made on how to calculate your risk to reward and how you know a three to one, for example, is a good and commonly used risk to reward. In the case of risking $5 to make $8, that's not even a two to one. So it's really not a very good trade and not a trade that I would actually normally take. And as always, remember to manage your risk accordingly. As my mentor always used to say, if you can't turn $50 into $100 using regular spot trading, or essentially if you can't double your money just trading regular spot, you have no business trading with leverage. And even though this is the spot section, it is still leverage at the end of the day, maybe not quite as high risk as regular leverage, but still high risk. And as always, if you guys are enjoying the content, please remember to like and subscribe. We'll catch you tomorrow. It's T A.